Happy Friday. My heart goes out to all the people in Florida, Parkland. How can we, how can I not kind of just address that? Um, What are we willing to sacrifice for this idea of the right to bear arms? What are we willing to sacrifice? It's time for us to look in the mirror as a, as a nation, as a country, as Americans. And it's so easy for someone who hasn't been immediately affected to say it's about one thing but when you lose a loved one a child a brother a sister a father a mother a friend a teacher a colleague i think the conversation should already be, should already be talking. We should already be having the conversation. Columbine is like almost 20 years old, and that wasn't the first mass shooting. I feel like, and I don't know the definition of an epidemic, but we know <laughs> what causes a mass shooting. We don't know why exactly, but we know that there's a gun involved and then there's a crazy person. So let's take the gun out of the equation. Oh, but wait, I need to be hunting with my machine gun or my pistol. No, I don't know. What are we willing to sacrifice? That's a question we can ask. Because we are sacrificing something. If we make no decisions, we're sacrificing more people's lives. That's what it seems like. Freedom to carry a weapon and to own a weapon over someone's life, arbitrarily. It might be your daughter, might be your son, might be your brother, might be your mother, sister, colleague, whatever. And if that's okay for you, then that's the choice. Otherwise, we need to take action. The conversation should already be happening. It shouldn't start every time we have one of these idiotic events, these tragic events that can be prevented and not by putting more armed people. That just seems ridiculous. More guns does not equal more safety. I My love and respect for all those people. And unfortunately, for the people that are going to deal with it today and tomorrow, because this is not going away. That's the truth. Much love.